Hi, my name is Jason. I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist or registered sleep tech. And I wanted to do a review or to show you about the Fisher Paykal Oracle. Um, this is kind of a cool mask. And I, it's going to sound weird that I say that because I've, I've tried to sleep with this for three nights and I haven't really been able to fall asleep with it at all. Um, but that's okay because it's not exactly for me. Um, the representative that uh, gave this to me to review pretty much said, hey, this, is, this isn't this is for everyone at all. This is definitely a niche mask. And um, it's really only for people who have had a very hard time um, with nasal breakdown on the bridge of your nose, or you just can't find any full face mask that fits. Maybe you have chronic nasal congestion and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. In that case, this mask is gonna be fantastic for you. Um, right now, you know, in that category are things like the uh, ResMed Liberty, um, is it this thing, uh, Resp Care um, Hybrid? Um, those are, they have nasal pillow and then something that covers up the uh, mouth. What this is, it's strictly oral. So it only goes in your mouth and then it actually comes with these little um, nose plugs that go in your nose so you don't have, instead of mouth leaking, so you don't have nose leaking. Um, I'm gonna break this down a little bit because I just actually tried to film one and this size was too small. So I was having drool shooting out of my mouth and it wasn't cool. Uh, maybe we'll have a, what are you, like those, one of those best of tapes? They have all the outtakes. Probably not. <laughs> Wasn't good. Um, so to get this cushion out, you can see what it is. is two parts. It's almost like a little one of those football mouthpieces that you see the pros wear. So we need to twist this dial, and that's gonna allow me to pull out this piece. So you can see that those are separate. So here's the small, I'm gonna huck it over here. And this is the large, so I can put this in. You can kind of see where it fits. I know it's, it isn't exactly exciting video, but there's these little tabs that'll fit in there. Snugly. And this one I don't have in yet. Okay, so that's in, you can see it's all great. Um, what you need to do now is take it and put it through this shell. Once we get it in there, we're going to twist this. And twisting this, what it does is when you put that, I'm going to have to, by the way, I'm doing all the talking now because once I get this in, it's not happening anymore. Okay, so you twist this. And what this does, once this is in your mouth, I'll do a quick demo. So you turn it inside out. Now you take this. Put it in your mouth like that and then we're going to flip this over now to tighten it you don't use straps you do twist this and by twisting this it's drawing this whole piece in closer so it's kind of wedging it in between uh what's using your cheeks pushing in you know clamping down on your cheeks to kind of hold it in it doesn't leak at all through the mouth not even kind of i was practicing i was when the last i'm not gonna do it this time it's not pretty <laughs> it's for the drool game um i was really trying to relax and get it to leak you know, I'll do it. I was trying to get it to leak, and it, it, I couldn't get it to leak when I relaxed, but it was shooting out of my nose. Um, the nasal, what you're going to see is these things, I, I'll put them in. Um, when I put them in and I really relaxed, that the air actually pushed them out. So um, well, I've read some reviews online about this, and some people complain that these don't work, and they get some of those the style that pinches your nose instead, which would probably work better. But I just might as well give these a try first, unless you have the other style around. Um, so this also comes with this piece, so it's a little piece of flexible tubing. It's extraordinarily quiet. Official Pical has been really great about this um, uh, air, air diffuser for expired air. And then it has the anti-asphyxiation valve down here at the base in case the power shuts off. We'll still be able to breathe. Um, this mask I found, and the rep said it, it makes you drool like crazy. Um, the three nights I tried it, I probably, I don't know, I probably made it like 20 minutes each night, and I was having a really hard time swallowing because it gets you know, kind of gets the juices flowing in your mouth but then you can't swallow so uh, it's having a rough go anyway so you take this push it in and it snaps so now we're ready to go the headgear really you almost don't even need it but you know just one strap here if you have a hard time you can grab onto this piece and when you pull that'll undo it but you know you almost don't even need this headgear for this mask it stays in so well but this, I guess, can just kind of help out.
Anyway, so here we go. I'll turn the machine on. I think I have it. I have it set to 10. Um, so again, if you're having problems with nasal breakdown, this might be your friend. Anyway, cheers. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. I have a cloth here already because of all the drool from the last one. And I drooled more that time. At first, that really dries out your mouth. So I can, you know, that reminds me that the, um, the rep said that you need to have the humidity all the way up because <clears throat> that will dry you out a little bit. So turn up the humidity all the way. I would suggest not sleeping on your stomach because all that drool is going to come right down into the, oh man, all the, right, uh, right down into the, uh, the mouthpiece. Um, so you probably want to stay, you know, on your side with your head slightly tilted up or on your back and um, that'll assist you in swallowing it, You know, when you sleep, you're not going to produce much uh, saliva anyway, but when you're trying to fall asleep, the other thing is I probably would suggest getting like the uh, nose plugs that actually pinch and that way you don't have to actually worry about it because you're definitely conscious when you have these in your nose. This is a fantastic setup. You know, if, like I said, if you have problems with breakdown on the bridge of your nose, if you have um, problems with chronic nasal congestion and you're just kind of sick of dealing with it, there's a lot of people I know that are searching for this. You know, it's probably going to be like a half of 1% of the entire population um, that would like this. But... You know, it's one of those that could even be really good if you need a full face mask, but you need, you know, three, four nights to let the bridge of your nose heal. You can use this during that time, um, especially if you find that something like the Liberty or the Hybrid isn't working for you. So that's it. If uh, you have any questions, comments um, about anything CPAP related or sleep related, you can join my forum, freecpapadvice.com forward slash forum, or visit my website, which is just freecpapadvice.com. And that's it. Hopefully you got a little something out of it. Uh, if not, I have a ton of other videos, so check those out. Thank you. Bye. With the Oracle, I said that you don't really need the uh, headgear. So I was going to do a quick run of this without any headgear on, just to show you what I mean. Uh-huh. Uh-uh.
See, so you can get it out if you want. Um, I had my jaw very relaxed. So I wasn't biting down on anything. Um, you can, I had this fairly loose, so you could actually tighten it down quite a bit more so it's really clamping on the side of your mouth. But just if you're sick of having headgear and you don't want to deal with it, you can actually get away with not using the headgear on this. Although, um, having it on probably isn't that bad. You can just have it extremely loose so that if it does start to come out, it'll kind of hold it there as like a bit of a safety net. Um, otherwise, you don't really need anything. But again, I cannot stress enough, heated humidity all the way up. 